So this woman in question was locked up for 25 years by her own mother. Now I have no idea how to actually pronounce all of these names correctly because they're from France. So I apologize in advance. But ultimately one conclusion is the only thing I could get to. And that is that her mother was an absolute crazy, crazy bitch. Because who locks up their own daughter for 25 years? It's disgusting. It's parents that do this shit. Are fucking nuts, man. But today I want to share her story. So let's begin. Blanche Monnier was rescued in 1901 after the police received a letter detailing how a lady was being held hostage in France. The unknown letter read to some degree, Attorney General, I have the honor to inform you of an exceptionally serious occurrence. I speak of a spinster who is locked up in Madame Monnier's house, half starved and living on a putrid litter for the past 25 years, in a word, in her own filth. The letter astonished the police. They went to the home and discovered an anorexic Blanche Monnier lying in a pool of excrement and trash on a couch in an upstairs room. The 55 pound 49 year old Blanche was hiding under the sheets, terrified. She had not seen sunlight in 24 years. A witness to her discovery described it. We immediately gave the order to open the casement window. This was done with great difficulty, for the old dark colored curtains fell down in a heavy shower of dust. To open the shutters, it was necessary to remove them from their right hinges. As soon as light entered the room, we noticed, in the back, lying on a bed, her head and body covered by a repulsively filthy blanket, a woman identified as Blanche Monnier. The unfortunate woman was lying completely naked on a rotten straw mattress. All around her was formed a sort of crust made from excrement, fragments of meat, vegetables, fish and rotten bread. We also saw oyster shells and bugs running across Monnier's bed. The air was so unbreathable, the odor given off by the room was so rank that it was impossible for us to stay any longer to proceed with our investigation. Her 75 year old mother, Madame Monnier, was discovered sitting tranquilly in the laundry room. Police immediately locked up the home and took the mother and brother in for questioning. Blanche was immediately raised to the hospital in Paris where specialists at first felt that she would almost certainly die. During the police investigation, the truth of this chilling tale came to light. When Blanche was 25 years old, her mother found out about her relationship with an older lawyer. Blanche was forbidden to continue this relationship and so her mother plotted to stop it in her tracks. How? Simple, by locking Blanche in a tiny room until she gave in. She never did. Blanche's sibling, Marshall, would later claim that Blanche was absolutely crazy and never tried to escape the bolted and covered room. However, witnesses frequently heard Blanche shouting and arguing, begging to be let out. On August 16th, 1892, one witness heard Blanche shout the accompanying words. What have I done to be locked up? I don't deserve this horrible torture. God must not exist then, to let his creature suffer in this way, and no one to come to my rescue. Blanche's mother, Monnier de Morconi, I probably misread that completely. French is a really awesome language, but the pronunciation of these words is on a whole different level than Dutch. She was arrested the next day and imprisoned at around 6 o'clock in the evening. She was immediately placed in the infirmary, where she unexpectedly died 15 days later. It was said that her last words were spoken to doctors who entered the room just moments before she died. Oh, my poor Blanche. Yeah, right. If, she was that, if you feel that bad about it, then you should not have locked her up, but alright. Her brother, Marshall, stood trial alone, accused of being his mother's accomplice. The trial opened on October 7th, 1901. Four days later, Marshall was found guilty and sentenced to 15 months in prison. The judgment on October 11th raised applause in the courtroom and outside on the palace square. The crowd displayed their approval by screaming and shouting hostile threats at him. Unfortunately, Marshall appealed the verdict and in a judgment announced on November 20th, 1901, the Court of Appeal found that he had exercised no violence on the woman and hence 
he was acquitted and released from jail. Although Blanche Monnier did put on some weight over time, she never regained her sanity. She died in a psychiatric hospital in 1913, 12 years after she was discovered captive in her room. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of quiet time, I know. I have no idea what to say about this because it kind of reminds me of the case that was dealing with the other girl that was kept hostage or, you know, kept in a basement by her father. And this is another one of those cases. And I just don't understand how as a parent you can do that to your child. I pointed that out in that video as well. I mean, as I said in that video as well, was that if you do it to someone else, that's crazy as well, of course. But these... The cases like these are just so bizarre if you think about it. And then before her mother died, she kind of felt bad about it, I guess. But at the same time, I'm like, Jesus, woman, you were the one that kept her in that room. You could have just let her out. But no, you were angry because she had a relationship with an older man, I guess. I don't understand the logic behind it, but times were different back then, I, I assume. But yes, I never heard about this case, actually. I just found out about it a few weeks ago, and I figured I might as well put it on the channel. Maybe you've never heard of it either. Anyways, if you found this story interesting, and if you want to share your thoughts about it, hit the like button below and leave a comment. As always, dear viewer, have sweet dreams.